So it is not a hard one. This is originally from Crystal Mines, I believe. Yes, this is the one of the Crystal Mines bosses. So when he shoots those boulders, what is up, guys? It is your boy Gazda back at it again with the Archiro series. And if you're new to my channel, this is where we play Archiro, which is a mobile game available on Android and iOS. It's a fun game, it's a hard game, it's a little repetitive of a game, but here in this series, I go through walkthroughs, strategies, playthroughs, new updates. Um, so if that's content that you think that you will find very interesting, I highly recommend you hit subscribe and that notification bell so you never miss an upload. I'm uploading about two to three times per week as it stands. Might upload more when I get a little bit more time, but that's what we're sticking to right now. So in this video today, we're going to go over to Flying Bullets, which is a new uh, daily event for the Halloween update. And really quick, if you missed my Halloween update video, I'm going to plick, plick, I'm going to put a link up now that will show you all that is to offer in this Halloween update. So go ahead and click that and then come back to this video, you know, so that you can see the walkthrough on the Flying Bullets stage. So then again, also if you're new, here's the gear. Here's kind of what I'm rocking. Um, yes, I know, I don't have enough money to upgrade the boomerang, so it's just gonna have to sit. Okay, so let's just jump right into it. I'm gonna show you the flying bullet stage. It's actually kind of tricky, but watch closely my strategy and you should be fine. And then also, before I start, if you wanna see the Hollow's Eve um, walkthrough, I'm gonna probably upload that tomorrow or the next day. I'm filming this on the 28th of October. And um, yeah, I'll upload that there. So here, here's a placeholder where that link's going to be if you're seeing this later than that. Okay, so let's jump into this, okay? <clears throat> so these levels are actually kind of tricky, even for me. But I'm going to show you the optimal strategy and how to avoid everything so that you can do really well. So I'm going to go off with Blaze, Bouncy Wall, no good, limits the Boomerang's return damage effect, and Ricochet kind of does the same. So this is an all-you-can-eat return to a lot of the enemies you've already encountered. And sometimes you'll encounter a couple new ones, at least a couple new ones I haven't encountered yet because I'm still on Frozen Pinnacle. If you want to see me doing a run on Frozen Pinnacle, well, I will also include a link to that there, where there is a full walkthrough except for the final boss because I didn't get to him, but it's all the strategy I use for Frozen Pinnacle too, so that's going to be right here. Okay, and then come back to this video too. Okay, so that's all the self-promotion we put on this channel now. So you have all kinds of the little living bombs. You have the ones that throw fire, the ones that throw rapid, the ones that throw just singular, and it actually ramps up pretty quick. So you want to keep your distance. I'm going to go with multi-shot. Very valuable skill. Keep your distance. Just move <sighs> sporadically. Um, not in just one linear direction. I mean, if you're playing this game, you, you probably kind of understand that. But uh, what you want to avoid is trying to be greedy with your attacks and just trying to lay on to it. It's, it's not going to work out. These enemies actually hit pretty hard. I'm going to take the... Poisoned touch because I think I'm good on health right now. This level actually ramps up really hard. I was doing a playthrough, not a playthrough, I was just playing it on my own without recording it earlier. And I got to the last boss and I had full health and I took one hit and it killed me. That's like how intense they're making this level. So be careful on that. Thankfully, I was able to instantly revive. We're going with HP boost. Always take HP boost if you're full health. Um, actually, just always take HP boost if it's available. It's just, it gives you more health. And then, of course, it increases how much health you have available. But yeah, I had an extra life available that I got from the devil. So I was able to instantly revive and then kill the boss. But uh, yeah, I was really surprised. I'm like, okay, I got this. He's at half health. I haven't taken any damage. And no, I died in one hit. Okay, avoid the meteors. I've gone on a tangent about that. Um, ice circle, no good. Go with rage. So yeah, you, if you've... If you've made it to, I'd say, at least Cave of Bones, you should be familiar with all these enemies. You're not going to see too many new enemies. I only saw, like, one new one that's, I guess, from levels I haven't gotten to yet, which I'm on the ninth chapter. And uh, 
there was like one Medusa looking snake monster that I had not encountered yet. So that's probably from the Capitol or from Dungeon of Traps. I'm not really quite sure. So for this one, I kind of have a back and forth on diagonal arrows. I'm going to go with Blazing Strike. It's good to have just a little bit of extra. Um, I don't have the money to buy the scrolls, so I'm not going to. But you can see they're already starting to hit a lot harder. So we're going to go Crit Master. I'm basically at full health. I don't need to heal. Um, and then, let's see. I am not going to get free advertising. Just get the 200 attack. Okay. So you have... This boss is originally from Crystal Mines. And um, the strategy is... Uh, well... You want to stand still when he does the fireball attack, and you'll almost always avoid it. And then when he does that move, I like to go up or down. I don't like to go left or right, because just in case he does the fireballs, you would get hit if you go left and right, in my experience. So just kind of go up and down, and you shouldn't have a problem with him. So we took no damage. We have the devil. What's he going to offer? Water walker. Never take that. It's just junk. Okay, moving on. So now you have the scythe monsters. Try and focus on them first. Take them out. I think the summoners that summon the fireballs are not that hard. So make sure you take out the scythes because they do a lot of damage and they have boomerang because, well, they're kind of like your or my pet that does the boomerang. I'm going to go with attack boost again. Kind of avoid diagonal arrow unless there's nothing else. So this is a new creature that I haven't even encountered yet. I'm assuming it's from a, a level coming up. But yeah, um, it looks like a Medusa. Um, it just moves around, shoots three projectiles. It's not that hard. I think there's harder enemies. I think these ice golems are probably harder enemies. But you see, I, can, I just took an attack and it's already taken me down quite a bit. So, this is why I love Boomerang because it has that piercing effect. It's why I think it's the best weapon. I can't get behind Death Scythe, although some people do. So, I'm actually going to take Attack Boost here. Now, this level only has 20 levels, so just keep that in mind. So we're going to walk through this as quick as possible. The Scarecrows, the ones that shoot four bullets, um, the further you, you are away, the easier it is to see their line of attack or where those curving projectiles are going to go. We're going to go with attack. So that's my best strategy on that one. Okay, you have like now the skeleton mummies that shoot the tornado. They are not a biggest concern. But in this room, I would focus on them first. Uh, we're going to go with uh, agility. Just in case, you know, lower health means I'll take less damage or potentially dodge more, I should say, which equals less damage. I was kind of on the money with that one. But yeah, it isn't a Medusa. See, it even looks like Medusa. I just had a good look at its face. But uh, yeah, it's not, this is not rocket science, this level. At least I don't think it is. Um, but I've also been playing this game for, oh my God, let me see, since PewDiePie did it, which was like... February, March, something like that. Okay, now we're on the final boss. It's always a mix-up of who it's going to be, so I can't say. Okay, so it is not a hard one. This is originally from Crystal Mines, I believe. Yes, this is the one of the Crystal Mines bosses. So when he shoots those boulders, kind of go up and down because they split into four, and you should be okay. Um, when he spins, just be circling around the room, and you should be okay. Not a hard boss, not by any means, but if you kind of get greedy, as always in this game, and try and just stick around to hit more damage, unless they're almost dead, like right now, then you, you should be fine. So we leveled up again, it's not going to matter though, that's the end of the stage. So yeah, see, that's about it. Pretty easy. Pretty straightforward. I hope that this walkthrough helped. Again, if it did, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a like and a comment. It really makes a huge difference on my channel. It really helps get that YouTube algorithm going. More people can find about my channel, participate, and, um, you know, be better help. So that's it for this walkthrough, and um, I guess we'll, we'll see you next time. Again, I was Gazda.